To begin my project, I'm going to take this bamboo vanity tray, and then I'm also going to take these plastic Hot Wheel tracks. These are available at Dollar Tree. I am going to be using just the track part. We don't need these blue pieces that are at the top, the connectors, so we can just get rid of those with the packaging. Now these tracks um, are different on either side. There is a thinner ridge and then there is a thicker ridge on the other side, uh, more room in between. So we're going to be using the side that has more room in between. That's going to be facing out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these tracks and I'm going to curve them around and I'm going to add a generous amount of hot glue in the corner of my vanity tray. I'm going to place one end of the track in there letting it set and then I'm going to add glue to the opposite corner and then I'm going to place in the other side of the track there and I'm going to make sure I hold these until the glue firmly sets. Then I'm going to come in with more hot glue just building up a nice base around the track so that they're in there nice and stable. Then I'm going to take my other track and I'm going to place it into the other corners going over top of the first track that I placed. So I'm going to come in with my hot glue again, making sure to add a generous amount so that these tracks stay in place. Once the glue sets, I'm going to come in with these half wood beads. So they have a wood bead round side and then the other side is flat. And I'm going to hot glue these on to the outside of the tracks, starting at the bottom and working my way up. I did stop halfway through adding the beads just so that I could add my wooden top here. This is just a wood round because I didn't want to waste beads underneath where they weren't required. So I glued that on top with some hot glue and then I took this large wooden bead with a flat bottom and I glued that on top as well. And this is just going to add a nice decorative finish to the top. I continued adding the beads till I got just about underneath the wood top and repeated on the other tracks. Before spray painting my piece, I made sure to remove any of the glue hairs so they don't get stuck in the spray paint. Then I came in with the Zinsser primer and an enamel satin spray paint and I spray painted the whole piece outside. After it had dried sufficiently, I came in with this black patio paint from DecoArt and just added a little rustic finish on the sides of my lantern. So I just used a small brush and twirled it down the sides of the lantern just to add a little rustic definition to my lantern so it wasn't so flat. So I just twirl the brush along the top here as well to add that finishing touches. And this is my completed piece here. I added a little wreath in the bottom and a little candle. Now I don't plan on lighting this candle. Um, you cannot light a candle under here because this is plastic and it will completely melt. Um, so if you're just using it for decorative purposes, you can add a real candle. Or if you actually want to add a candle that gives off some light, you can use a um, battery operated candle. So I'm really happy with how this piece turned out. Taking some plastic Hot Wheel tracks in the dollar store and making making a cute little farmhouse lantern that adds some nice decor to your home. Thank you so much for tuning into Home Talk and we'll see you on another video. Hi there, I'm Sarah from Creative Ramblings. Welcome to Home Talk. Let's get started. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take a cardboard box and upcycle it into a really fun piece of home decor. So this lantern is going to go around a little battery powered candle. So whatever candle you have, keep in mind that size, that's how big our lantern is going to be. So you're gonna need a cutting mat. This is great to have underneath you, a ruler and a craft knife. Now I've taken our box and I've just kind of opened it up so I can lay it flat. And I've decided that I want this lantern, this is gonna be a small one, to um, the sides to be about this size. So I've already cut out one piece. Now I wanna cut out three more of these to uh, match up and go around my candle. So I'm just gonna use this as a guide and make some light marks here. And then I could take this nice hard ruler here and cut through each piece. And once I cut out these pieces, if they're a little rough on the edge, like this one has tape on the back, I can just kind of take a scissors and cut along because I want these edges to be really nice and clean. So now I have four pieces here and this is gonna make up each side of my lantern. Now I want the light from the candle to shine through these so I need to cut some openings in them. 
and we want to make this distinct. So instead of just cutting a box in the middle, we're gonna cut it, we're gonna make it a little more intricate. So I'm just gonna grab a pencil and a ruler and I'm going to draw on a design that I wanna cut out. So I just drew a simple design on the front here and I'm gonna cut out these pieces with a craft knife. And so there is one, so I am going to repeat this for each of these pieces, and then I will show you how to put your lantern together. All right, so there's our top piece. Now let's put this together. We are just going to grab a glue gun, a little hot glue, and put all these pieces together. So now that we're glued together as our box, the inside or the top piece is just gonna sit right on top like this. So let's glue that one on too. So this looks like a beautiful little lantern, except it's made out of cardboard. So I'm going to take a beautiful gold spray paint. I'm gonna take this outside and just spray this whole thing gold. And then we can move on to the next step. So we painted this a beautiful gold color. We're gonna set this aside to dry. Now, each of these inside pieces here, we want to cover in kind of a translucent film so that the light from this candle can shine through. The best product to use for that is called vellum. You can pick this up at a craft store in the paper section. So I'm gonna cut out some pieces of vellum to fit inside of that lantern. So these little kind of almost opaque pieces are gonna let light into that lantern. So now, since the bottom of this is open, we are just going to use some hot glue and attach these vellum pieces inside here. So there's all those beautiful vellum pieces glued in place. The bottom is open, so we could take our candle, turn it on, and just place them right over the top. So I've made a couple of these. This one is on a larger scale here uh, with just some really basic cutouts in it. So there's a lot of different ways you can make these. So let me show you what they look like in my home. These little lanterns make such a great addition to a little corner of my craft room. They are not seasonal, so I can use them all year long. And I love that I was able to make them from an old cardboard box. I hope this inspired you to go make something from your cardboard boxes.